If you're short of packed lunch ideas or want something impressive for a dinner party, then why not give these a go? We've got some lovely fresh salmon fillets with some lemon and some dill, and we'll use that to wrap around our eggs, and then we'll roll that in flour, egg, and breadcrumbs, and we'll end up with a salmon version of a scotch egg. Awesome. Okay, perfect for a picnic. But to start with, we'll get some of these eggs on the go. Two eggs to start off with into salted boiling water, and they go in for six minutes. Six minutes they're soft boiled. Our fresh salmon fillets, um, still with their skin on. So just take the skin off and some rough chunks, and if you can put those into the blender, and the same with that one. Yep. What I can give you, Jamie, is a lemon. Really? So if you can just zest that into there. Yeah. So these are pretty simple but classic flavours that go with salmon. Salmon, lemon and a little bit of dill. Plenty of seasoning. And then, Jamie, if you put the lid on and just blend that up, yeah. what we're looking for is a paste. So something similar in consistency to a sausage meat, but obviously this is made with salmon. Okay. okay. That's fine. We don't want to do it too much, right. otherwise what happens is you start to break up the protein. So you're just to the point where you've got that kind of mushy sausage meat texture. Yep. Okay, get rid of our blade. Our eggs need one more minute of boiling and then we can drain them off, cool them down for an equal amount of time, so another six minutes in cold water, and then I'll show you how to do the next step. So our eggs now cooled and soft boiled. Jamie, if we can, excellent, if we can just peel those. Be careful, because although they're still soft, you do want to make sure they come out in one piece. And with a bit of luck, because they've been cooked for just the five, six minutes, they should still have a runny yolk inside. Now, the last thing you want is shell in the way, so we'll pop our eggs in the front, and we'll get rid of this board and all the shell, and we'll take our salmon. And all we need to do is wrap them around the eggs, okay? So okay. you can give that a go. It's not easy, but you should be able to get a nice layer all the way around. And clean, slightly damp hands help, but that's kind of what you're looking for. How did you do that so quickly? And now we need to coat them in breadcrumbs. And to do that, we need them to stick. So we need to roll them in flour first, then egg. Hopefully these are the, there we go. These are the raw eggs. So roll your salmon in the flour. Whip up a beaten egg. Once it's completely coated in flour, dunk it into our egg. And just make sure, again, the whole thing gets coated. And then lift it up and into our breadcrumbs. So we get to do the same again. Give it a sort of wobble round. Yep. Do the other egg. In flour. Now these are fairly stale breadcrumbs, but you can use dried ones if you like, if that's what you've got to hand. It's quite soft, it that's egg. exactly what we're looking for. Turn it all around. Easy enough. Easy enough. Into Put our in the breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs and, and then you take over. dry hands from there, you can just give them a bit of a roll. What we end up with is raw scotch eggs. Now at this stage, you can actually put them in the fridge, and they'll stay in the fridge for a couple of days if you need to. Cool. So you can make loads of them way ahead of time. Yep. Easy, easy food. But for now... That's great for dinner parties. Perfect starter for dinner party. There we go. Now we need to lower them into our hot oil. Do that carefully, just by using a spoon like that. Mm. Okay, this is oil at 180 degrees Celsius. Obviously, if you've got a deep fat fryer, use, use that. that. Keep an eye on your temperature, but just lower them in there and you should get a nice bubble. Do the same with the other one. And they need about two to three minutes, so they're nice and golden all the way around. In the meantime, we can clear all this away and get ready to serve up our amazing, soft-centred salmon scotch eggs. Yeah. There we go, that's the kind of colour we're looking for. Oh, wow. Beautifully golden all over. Look Just that. drain them to get any excess oil on a clean tea towel or some kitchen roll. And don't forget that oil is absolutely fine. Okay, so you can drain it through a sieve, collect all the bits, and what the oil that's left, you can cool down and reuse another day. But for now, these are our scotch eggs. So if you can just arrange a little bit of watercress on our plate there, just a nice nest for it. And what's beautiful about these, you should have a nice runny yolk in the center. Oh, look at, look that, at that spot on. Yes. Plate it up on our bed of watercress with a wedge of lemon on top for a great picnic, dinner party starter, or however you want to eat it. It's our salmon scotch egg sorted. Let's try this. We'll go for this one. It chops around that. Thank you. That's really good. It feels like a scotch egg. It looks like a scotch egg, but it tastes of salmon. And these are awesome cold as well. Mmm. You want to for a packed lunch or something? Yeah, yeah, mm. absolutely. You won't get bullied. You might get bullied.